Good Labor Day, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mark Collins here on the Weather Authority's weather team, and we're tracking some showers which will develop through the afternoon. They'll tend to drift inland, leaving the beaches dry. Look for a 40% chance of rain with highs around 88. And we'll see more of the same as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday before a cold front moves in and dries us out for Thursday and Friday. It's that front which will have implications on the eventual path of Irma. Here you see the official track from the Hurricane Center taking it north of the Lesser Antilles. Tuesday and then pushing through Hispaniola by the middle of the week and by Friday could be across either Cuba or the southern Bahamas. We'll be seeing increasing waves on along our coastline as early as Thursday, followed by just uh, crazy conditions as we head into the weekend as all that large surf moves into the area. This is a growing threat for Florida. In fact, the latest track shifts it further west beyond the Hurricane Center's outlook. These are the models, the GFS's and white taking it towards South Florida. The European model keeps it off the Florida coastline and recurves it north. When we look at the extended range, we have to show this product cautiously because at this time, the details are very vague fuzzy. If it turns sooner, the whole storm could be off of Florida's coast. If it waits just a few hours later, it could have major impacts for Florida. So use this information as a grain of salt to monitor, to prepare, and pay attention to what could happen as we head towards the end of the weekend because Monday, Sunday night and Monday, Florida may be dealing with a hurricane. So the impacts for us are uncertain at this time, but what we could see at the earliest is Sunday our weather going downhill with winds of 30 to 40 and some rain bands along the periphery of that system, which could be over South Florida. Clearly at this time frame, uh, the details need to be worked out, but for us, we'll see this front come in, bring us the drier weather for Thursday and Friday, followed by windy conditions starting Friday into the upcoming weekend.